Hello everyone, it's Fairykin. This video is brought to you by my channel members. Huge thank you to Marissa, Sanji, and Anita. Today's a rather small project. It's uh, one of my close friend's birthdays. I mean, not right now, but it was. Uh, anyway, today I'm making him a little Ninja Brian figure. This is a little Green Briar International Ink Ninja toy. It doesn't really mean anything. I looked them up because I thought that they were from something, but they're just, they're just little guys. I was given one, and I immediately thought, mmm, I need to make this into Ninja Brian. So if you're not familiar with this character, he is a member of a comedy band called NSP. I'm going to challenge myself with this because this is the smallest thing I've ever painted. His face is smaller than my thumb, so... I start by analyzing what needs to be done so that I can paint him effectively. He's pretty banged up, uh, he came from a thrift store, so who knows what he's seen. Uh, he just needs the plastic seams trimmed and sanded so that he's all smooth, and so that the paint will stick. There's parts where whoever sculpted him left parts of the plastic in, in spaces, I'm not sure why, um, so I'm going to carve those out so that they look right. What is this? Anyway. I sand him down and do all that, and here's a side-by-side. -side. Uh, he almost looks worse, but uh, trust the process, I suppose. <laughs> From here, I'm going to paint him black with my uh, black 2.0 acrylic paint. I was gifted this by a good friend, um, and it is my favorite black paint. When you water it down, it's just as black as when it's undiluted. It's pretty fantastic. Uh, and when it dries, it's it's real matte. Look at that. That's real good. Anyway, now to add detail, I'll be adding highlights to the black parts uh, with gray. Uh, I'm mixing up the gray with a little bit of brown in it to add depth to the color. I find that just using black and white is kind of flat somehow. From here, I just dry brush that on wherever would be highlighted on his costume. I mix up a brown and hit his boots with that. Uh, but I paint that over eventually because I thought the uh, the color was strange. I paint his sheath straps brown as well. And I wasn't quite sure what to do with his spear at first, so for now I'm just going to paint the blade silver. Moving on to his face and hands, I mix up a beige for his skin tone. This color is kinda hard to achieve, uh, so I did my best with what I had. I used tones of brown, white, yellow, and pink. Once I got the color that I wanted, uh, I paint his hands and face this color.
While I'm here, I add some details to his straps and his sheath and clean up any stray colors. Now to begin on his face. Uh, Brian Wecht, who is the person that plays this Ninja Brian character, uh, he has the bluest eyes. Like on a blue eye scale, it would be Brian Wecht, uh, Ringo Starr, Elijah Wood, and maybe like your mom. I go in with my smallest paintbrush to make the whites of his eyes, and then make tiny blue dots for his pupils. Getting these straight and uniform was real hard. Brian has some heavy eyebrows and always carries his murderous intent in his eyebrows, I think. So I mark those in with brown. And then I mark any shadows or creases with a darker beige tone. Because Ninja Brian only knows violence, I paint on some old looking blood on his spear, uh, which might get me demonetized, but that's, you know, that's all right. Shifting to some more detailing, within the like 12-year history of NSP, Brian has had a few costumes. I wanted to make the first one because I thought that that shape would be easier on this scale, but I was super duper wrong. <laughs> I go in with white to establish the shape first, with the intent to go over it with yellow, but as I finished it up, I was looking at it and I was like, this, uh, this really looks like Batman's Rorschach accident. So I painted it over and started again with the newer symbol that he has with the dragon. Uh, this worked out a lot better. I finished up everything and added metal finishes to the handles of the swords and added uh, gunmetal color to the staff. Uh, the footage of that somehow got uh, corrupted. It was very strange. I signed the bottom with my initials and the year it was made, and with that, he's all finished. Overall, I'm extremely pleased at how he turned out. He's so small, I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to do his face right, but I did it, and it's all good. So huzzah. Just a reminder for the new year and, you know, in general, uh, if you have certain standards, expectation, and boundaries for how you want to be treated, please, please stick to those and uphold them for yourself. Uh, that's real self-care right there. Thank you all very much for gifting me with your time. I love you all dearly. Bye.